Welcome back. The FBI unit in Washington, D.C. investigating former President Trump's classified material from his Mar-a-Lago residence is also the special focus, I'm sorry, the focus of special counsel John Durham's investigation. These federal agents in the counterintelligence division controlled the Russia collusion investigation, also known as Crossfire Hurricane, in 2016 and 2017. Some of these staffers continue to work in this unit even though they are under investigation. The Bureau has declined to comment on questions about any role they may have played in the Mar-a-Lago raid. Joining us now to talk more about this is former Trump 2016 foreign policy advisor and Newsmax contributor George Papadopoulos. George, great to have you with us. Hi, George. Thanks. All right, thanks a lot for having me. All right, so this is the same group that Peter Strzok worked in. He was leading Crossfire Hurricane. Uh, we know about his uh, tryst with another FBI lawyer and all that stuff. And George, I think it, it's probably amazing for some folks to understand that they could be under investigation by John Durham and still be investigating President Trump. It, it's, uh, it's really as astonishing as, as it is predictable under the completely politicized uh, DOJ of uh, the Biden administration. And look, the trust of the American public in the DOJ and the FBI was shaken after revelations emerged that there was illegal spying conducted against the 2016 campaign and likely and reportedly even into the Trump uh, presidency. That trust was then shattered after the events of the last week or so in which a president, a former president's personal residence was raided with the most flimsy of suspicions without even an affidavit even released to the American public to understand why this unprecedented raid even took place. And now what we have going on are two divergent parallel investigations going on simultaneously. One by this exact same division of the FBI, which isn't, which isn't run out of Miami like some people thought. It's run out of Washington, D.C. that conducted the raid on uh, Donald Trump's residence. You then have the John Durham investigation actually criminally investigating the same bureau. So this is a complete, um, uh, I, I would say, a conflict uh, with these agents involved here. And Merrick Garland needs to address this to the American public. Yeah, and you know, we saw Christopher Wray um, testifying a few weeks ago. Very little uh, was said. In addition, though, this Crossfire team outside of the Mar-a-Lago revelation, uh, also one of their analysts involved with the ongoing federal probe into the contents of Hunter Biden's laptop, which reportedly was at a critical juncture, we heard a few weeks ago in regards to whether or not he might be charged with other things, whether it be tax evasion or not filing as an, you know, uh, the proper paperwork when dealing with foreign um, companies. So what do you make of that in addition to the Mar-a-Lago raid with this unit? Well, I, well, I think it's incredible that um, Director Ray was testifying under oath that uh, it was that he it was incredulous that uh, this FBI analyst was uh, actually helping suppress uh, this information regarding Hunter Biden into the weeks leading up to the uh, last election. And then he was inflating the numbers or the, you know, the reported numbers or the so-called threats of white extremism or domestic extremism or white supremacy, whatever they're uh, trying to call it. And then shortly after uh, the uh, testimony by Director Ray, he then flew on a private FBI jet on vacation and then President Trump was raided. While none of these FBI analysts have been held accountable, there have been no hearings whatsoever. We have absolutely no update whatsoever whether there are any disciplinary hearings, whether any of these officials have been fired or what their future does entail. And this is exactly why the American people are sick of this why people are beginning to fear the institutions and not revere the institutions. And you have people like A.G. Uh, Garland who are there and Christopher Ray to protect the institution and not the Constitution. Yeah, and they're not doing a good job, George. They are not doing a good job of, of protecting uh, the brand of the FBI. And, you know, I also, we got to talk about it. We only have a minute left, but we can't let the Gretchen Whitmer uh, retrial go unnoticed here. We've heard tons of bombshell allegations. Everyone should read Julie Kelly's uh, reporting on this that came out of this Michigan port, uh, courtroom. FBI agents sharing hotel rooms, smoking pot, drinking alcohol. Sounds like a movie plot, but this is actually part of the plot to try and get the, you know, a lot of people say it sounds like entra entrapment. We've already had a number of uh, acquittals in this case, but another big embarrassing black eye for the FBI. And look, we have to ask uh, the question ourselves as American citizens, is this the standard procedure 
that goes into these type of political cases. Is the FBI and the DOJ running various entrapment operations? Are they there to investigate dirt or to plant dirt? So we already know what happened in 2016. We now know that these uh, various defendants, most have been acquitted. The, uh, the prosecutors didn't get a single conviction, and now there's going to be a retrial for some of these officials. And this is a tremendous stain on uh, the FBI itself. I mean, this was a massive story leading up to the election. Then, of course, it deflated once uh, President Biden ascended to the Oval Office because it wasn't politically expedient anymore. And this is just another reason why I believe right. that President Trump is questioning whether there was evidence planted at Mar-a-Lago. The this FBI, is completely sustainable. And we got to bring this up, too. The FBI in Michigan, these are the same investigators that didn't care about all the sexual abuse going on at Michigan State University. They were, mm -hmm. uh, uh, they were alerted to that. They didn't follow up on it. And one of them was actually suspended and fired as a result. But uh, And even this mistrial, barely in the media. Yeah. You know? Well, it's been overshadowed by the Mar-a-Lago raid, but we didn't want to let it go. And, George, great to get your insight on it. Have a wonderful weekend.